Hello Patriots, we are back again, and today I'm going to show you the route that I use to farm yellow scripts the fastest. This one's a little bit more complicated than the red scripts, so stay tuned. Today, I'm going to show you the website I use, which is different than the one I use for red scripts, uh, for running yellow scripts, because in my opinion, it's uh, best for yellow scripts by a long shot. And what that website is, Garland Bell. So you want to use garlandtools.org slash bell, and you'll come up with this. Now, on the left-hand side here, as long as you followed my last red script farming video and unlocked all the all the regional folklore that you need. You can just unclick everything or click everything here. And again, this, you can only farm these after you initially acquire the material from every slot. So the very first time you do this, you'll have to acquire normal versions of each of these items instead of the collectible version. So you click off these right here and you have a task thing, yellow scripts. And so what it'll do is, as you can see, a couple of times, like for instance, there's a botany and a mining one, a mining one and a botany one uh, in these particular time zones. For this one, you wanna be fast and ready and paying attention. So it's not quite as easy as farming the red scripts. So we're gonna go here. Now we've already acquired everything. And so the best thing about the garland tools is when you look at it, it'll actually show you, you'll have the low stat requirements which this is the rotation you want to use if you have uh, not the Yamashi gear. And then you have the Yamashi gear. This is the one, the rotation I'll use. And so what that means is when we open up this one, which will be number six. pa -ching. Okay, and what we'll use is we want to use discerning eye and we want to use impulsive appraisal and what this will do is give us a chance to proc discerning eye now this time it didn't proc so as you can see if it doesn't proc which is the red one then you want to go down to use discerning eye again and the second one will be impulsive appraisal again now this time the discerning eye proc so we have it again so instead of using discerning eye we want single mind methodical appraisal now as you can see if you get lucky in discerning eye procs both times, you get maximum amount of collections, which is a minimum of four. And if the node has plus to gathering, then you gather e even more. So now for this one, the thing is about these is that literally as soon as you do it, you want to use a high cordial, bing, bang, boom. Now we got another place to go right away. As you can see, we got to go to the Royal Hunting Grounds in... This one doesn't quite show you the location, but... That's okay. Where you want to where you want to teleport to is the Porta Pretoria in the locks. Anywhere you teleport in the locks, that's where you want to teleport to, because both of the nodes that are here are right next to each other. So now, as soon as we load in, we're gonna switch to Botany, like this. Switch to Botany. Put Truth of the Forests on. Make sure our Collector's Glove is on. As you can see, the unspoiled vegetation node is up here. There we go. We're at over 470, which is all we need. And so to, to cap off to make sure it's 100%, we're going to use the gathering up. ka -chink. And there we go. We will get... We have maximum gather. The maximum gather nodes. So it looks like this time we'll be able to get five. Because the node had a plus one gathering on it. ka -chink. Bang, we got five. Again, as soon as this is off cooldown, use it because you'll need it. Make sure you use high cordials. Uh, sometimes later on, you can get away with using regular cordials with the ones that still have five minute gaps, but we want as much GP as possible. Now, if you want to use Final Fantasy 14 clock on your phone, because the, the Final Fantasy 14 has a phone app companion as well, you can just use this list right here to figure out which nodes to pick out. And remember to pick out the AM and PM if you plan on doing the whole hour of farming. So we'll land here, use our stealth. Make sure this person uses stealth because they might aggro and come over here. So the logs in the number six here for this one. 
and we will do and hope for our discerning eye procs. Always hope for the discerning eye procs. Well, there we go. We got one. Do we get both of them? We did. We got full procs. This is great. So we got maximum yield off of the best node. That is best case scenario. Oh, wow. We got six. We got six logs on one rotation. That is phenomenal. And so what we have to do now is go back to the House of the Fierce. So when you go to your next uh, Yansia or whatever, however you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. But always go to House of the Fierce here for the yellow scripts. And we twirl right on out. We change over to mining. Glove, truth of the, truth of the mountain, and boom. It's right over here. And so we'll wait here until this is cooled down. And as you can see here, we still have four solid minutes to get the raw Imperial Jade. Okay, we got back in here. Let's go ahead and farm the raw Imperial Jade. Looks like we got one proc. Two procs, baby. We got the, the maximum procs. Now the next spot we're gonna go is in the peaks and I will show you. You want to teleport in on the northern peaks crystal, which is Al-Ghana. Al-Ghanha. Al-Ghanha. Al and the next node will be a mining node right over here. And it'll be along this wall somewhere. Our next four spots here will be once every five minutes. Again, until we get back to the Ginger and Palladium, the uh, Trey Log and Raw Imperial Jade. During those sections, you'll be hitting two at a time instead of just one. And then it's normal just like the red scripts. So when you're doing these, you can just use regular cordials to make sure you're at above 650 every time. Let's check the site. We wanna hit node number seven and then, oh no. Oh no. As you can see, this is what happens when you're a choke master. Now we can hope, ah, oh, we only got one proc. So that is unfortunate, uh, big time. Uh, we won't be able to acquire any of these. So we're just gonna hit these nodes. So that's, that's what happens when you noob it up and forget to use a high cordial. Uh, I was distracted at the recording of the video and forgot to use it myself. Now, the next one is right down here. You can teleport. I save the 200 gil every time because I do this enough and since I have to wait basically four minutes anyways for it to spawn, there's no real use in rushing. Uh, unless you're, un unless this is probably the best time to teleport back and turn some in if your inventory is getting full or uh, go reset your ventures because the other one is right outside of Algiri. So this is probably the best spot in the normal rotation of the farm to go do all of those things. As you can see here, uh, this one has spawned. This time we are definitely at max. This one will be chromite ore. There we go. And slot number six. Let's hope for some procs. Okay, so now the next slot that'll open will be in the Dawn Throne, and the Dawn Throne will have the next two areas, which is super sweet. So we're just going to use a regular cordial, and we're going to teleport to the Dawn Throne. Now, as we're flying to wait for the Rhea, um, I will make sure, I just want you guys to know, that other than my X and Y coordinates being right here under my mini-map every time I'm going to these spots and seeing kind of where I am on the map, I will make sure to put all the names and locations overlaid on this video when I'm at the spot and down below in the descriptions below. So make sure you swap to botany when you come to Dawn Throne. So the Rhea is in slot number four. All right, we missed one of the procs, but this one had a plus gathering node, so we still ended up with five, which is really nice. I love it when multiple plus gathering nodes happen at once because it's a real solid rotation if everything works out. So the next node will be the plums, and they're right over here in this area, the 2517-ish area. Okay, and the last yellow script spot in this rotation, definitely make sure you stealth, is right here. And it's the plums, and they're in number two. So we'll hit these up, and then we'll show you the results, and I'll show you how to make tons of gill from farming yellow scripts. Now I'm going to go to my favorite place uh, to hang out in the game. 
I wouldn't necessarily, it's, I, I call it my favorite place, but it's basically the place I spend all of my, uh, like, crafting time and time at the market board and everything like that. So when I'm doing market stuff, I'm all, I always end up in my favorite place, Sapphire Avenue in the, uh, in Olda. Here we go, and right over here is one of the turn-ins you can go to. So, collectible appraiser. We're gonna turn these in real fast, and then I'm gonna show you what you can use your gathering scripts on to make some mad gill. We got about uh, 850, 900 scripts for turning all these in, and uh, remember that every rotation is only 30 minutes in real time. So, it's an episode of a TV show, uh, if you're doing some homework or something, you can do it like this. Whatever you're doing, you can farm some yellow scripts on the side. And let me show you some things you can buy. As far as yellow scripts are concerned, if you have retainers that are level 70, and you want to get them kind of inexpensive gear, you can use the yellow scripts uh, to purchase the weapons, and then the three pieces of armor that you need to max out stuff to get over 1450 gathering which will max out all your gathering from the retainers. So what you would get is the chest, the gloves, and the belt. Those are the ones with gathering stats on them. If you get these three level item level 350 uh, chest, gloves, and, and pants. Not the belt, I'm sorry. Chest, gloves, and pants. And then the two weapons. You'll have maximum stuff. Now, another thing you can get is the yellow gathering script items as you can see there are some of these items that still sell very well here's a bunch of uh, uh, aether sand that sells very well also you have uh, sometimes these little fruit stalls um, vegetable stall and mineral stall these will sell sometimes for 10 20 thousand uh, and and even higher gill depending on the server uh, obviously you have the the fishing tackle that you can sell as well and then uh, you can sell the materia um, let's see what else we got uh, that's pretty much uh, you know these things um, you know some of these old aether sands will sell these will sell the best obviously the rank 6 materia and some of these up here so wool top let's check that wool top see what these are selling for each of these sell for thirty-five thousand gil and these sell pretty pretty dang often okay new world macrame uh new world macrame here okay those sell pretty uh well and fairly often what you want to use other than the materia which will obviously sell the best and don't forget to get, I'm gonna get, in fact, I'm gonna uh, get each one of these stalls right now. Bam. Go see how much, how much gill we may have lost. <laughs> Just kidding. They're only a hundred, so it's not so bad. Look at that, 35,000 for those. What's the vegetable one going for? Holy moly, 77. Look at that, people are still buying these like crazy. Oh wow, someone got really lucky. Someone forgot an extra zero and someone capitalized on that. Um, and then this one came for another 35,000. So there we go. You know, one rotation, I only spent 300 and it'll give me, you know, 130,000 gil. Um, definitely keep on top of that kind of stuff. This is the best way, in my opinion, to make some gil with your gathering, other than acquiring the raw materials, which you'll need of some of those things, especially to the Toyor logs and the, uh, the chromite ore. Um, and the palladium you can make gill with all those just selling the raw materials, but this way uh, uh, Is a little bit more efficient, you know, this is the best route For farming yellow scripts in the game in my opinion if you get super lucky you can do it with fish But I just it's it's just too rare in my opinion compared to doing this This is a sure thing every time you can farm your own craft uh, gathering uh, Items with it as well for your retainers as you can see my retainers have the I, I Test it out to see how much you need but you only need 1450 to max out everything which is the body the gloves and the pants 
and then obviously the main hand and off hand. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to know anything else about uh, gathering specifically or farming, anything in general, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, if you could share this on other social medias, if anyone you know has the question that this video is the answer for. This is Farming Yellow Scripts. I know we got a couple more months until Shadowbringers, but I'll make videos for that too. Do not worry. Thanks so much for watching. Me, Nashi, the Conservative Gamer. We'll be back again, Patriots. Peace.